Hi and welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria and we are going to be working on two of Maud's prompts today in this Junk Journal with Me session and we are starting off with the prompt number 30 which is glue pieces of leftover fabrics in a crazy quilt design on paper and sew over them. So I thought that was a very fun prompt and I'm happy to use up some of my scraps and this is the page I chose to work on because I had this brad in there which I wanted to cover up anyway and I will be actually making the collage on this cardstock that I have cut down to fit the size of my page and here we have my drawer with my scrap fabrics and this beautiful one with the butterflies was actually from a happy mail and what I'm doing now is I'm selecting other pieces that would have some of the colors of that one focal point in them as well to form a cohesive piece. Okay, so now you see all of the pieces that I have selected and here I'm just cutting the focal piece out with my pinking shears and I didn't want to have such a big piece but yet I wanted to have all of the colors in there so I tried to cut it in the way that I wouldn't cut any of the colors completely off and I knew I wanted to kind of place it there where I put it for some reason I'm, I'm not even sure why and so now what I'm doing is I'm taking these other pieces and I'm kind of placing them around my focal point always making sure that looking at the colors I would never have two similar colors next to each other so that there would always be at least one other color in between similar colors if that was going to be possible I was doing my best <laughs> Basically you're doing the same thing as you would be doing with paper except maybe this is a little more colorful than I would usually do with paper but all the more fun all the more fun to use prompts because that way you are more likely to do things that might first of all take you out of your comfort zone which is always exciting and second of all you you're probably going to do things that you wouldn't have thought out your thought about yourself so thank you again, Maud, for this wonderful prompt list. Of course, the prompt list is linked below as well. Now, so now I've already glued all the pieces down and I was using my three-in-one glue, which is kind of like um, Fab Fabrifix, I think is the other glue. I think they're more or less identical. And I did want to add some lace. This beautiful lace that I have on the top here is actually from lovely Elaine. So thank you again for that. So I'm going to place lace in three different parts of my collage just to give a little more interest and accent. And I'm also going to glue these down with my three-in-one glue, which I have done now. So I've just put the glue down in, in spots rather than just trying to go over the whole back of the fabric. And this was a piece that was left over from my focal point. So I'm going to glue that on top to form a tab because it has a little yellow butterfly on the front there and I thought that worked very well with the two focal, with the two focal points. And next I also wanted it to have a word there so I, I'm taking my cutout words, these are from magazines and I've had most of these forever. And I'm just seeing which one I might like best. Some of these, I really love the font, but either the color's not working or it's just not big enough to stand out in this very colorful collage. 
And then I came up on this one which said dance and I realized that that's the title of my book. It says butterfly dance in German. So since this thing has butterflies on it, I thought, well, that's just perfect to put the word dance there. But I didn't like the color of it. So I'm taking my letter stamps, which I did get locally, so I can't link those. And I have stamped those with my Memento ink, which is linked below. Um, and now I am trying to find the right placement for it. I actually like it there, but I didn't actually put it there. <laughs> and I'm also going around it with the same Memento ink to give it a nice border. And then I also thought, why don't I put some lace behind it to give it another little accent. That way it will stand out a little more. So I'm just going to cut this down. And I'm again going to use my 3-in-1 glue to first glue that cardstock piece on the lace and then the lace onto the, um, onto the collage. I have this 3-in-1 glue linked down below as well in case you cannot find it locally. I love this so much. It's strong and what I love is it doesn't make your paper warp if you use it on paper. So that is very, very important for collages and, and such. So now I've also gone around the border with my green um, thread with the sewing machine and I'm using the same 3-in-1 glue to glue that on top of the page. And voila, there is our finished collage and I love it. Very happy with this. I would have never come up with this on my own, so so happy with the prompt. And the second prompt I'm going to be doing is the number 29, which says, make a fantasy animal out of fussy cut animals that you have in your stash and do not plan on using anytime soon. Give it butterfly wings. So I'm actually not using images that I have in my stash, but I'm going through my fairy tale books. Out of this one I've already cut quite a bit and I've used some of these pages for envelopes but for today I wanted to use this lady with this beautiful dress and I'm going to make some sort of fun fantasy animal out of her I thought so I'm first starting off by fussy cutting out this lady and next I'm gonna do something horrible <laughs> I'm going to actually decapitate her Oh my gosh, this was this was quite painful to do. <laughs> but it had to be done because she had to be transformed into a fun animal. So this is my second and most recent fairy tale book and I thought maybe there are some heads in here that I could use. So I am auditioning a few of these to see which one I would like best. This one actually would have been cute as well. And this one is very cute. And then we have this one, which actually I would have loved a lot. But I did not choose this one because on the back side is another lovely deer. And I just could not cut that page up. But I was okay cutting, off, cutting this one because I didn't really love the back side. And so I fussy cut that little goat's head out. And let's see what that looks like on this beautiful dress. How about that? What do you think? <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute. And I love her eyes. They are so beautiful. And now actually came the hardest part. I didn't realize that this was going to be the hardest part. So I tried various butterfly wings. And I'm going to go through a whole bunch because none of these made me happy. So these are ones that came from the Dutch chain action. Didn't like them. So then I remembered seeing some in this fairy tale book. So I cut those out. So let's see what these look like. I really like the shape of these, but the colors just 
didn't didn't work enough for me. So now I have these ch this children's encyclopedia, and I knew there were some butterfly images in this one. So I thought maybe this would work well because it's the same kind of style of the image of the dress. So I thought, let's, let's try that. And then I saw the dragonfly and I thought, hmm, why not try some dragonfly wings? Wouldn't that be cool? So I cut these out. Now I have a whole bunch of wings left over <laughs> to use in the future. So trying these. And that just didn't work at all. Like, look at that. That just does not work. Not at all. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the butterflies. Let's try a yellow one for a change. And there's a red one too. Hmm. All right, first let's try the yellow ones. What do you think? Nope. Nope, not at all, not at all. We do also have these little blue ones. All right, let's give those a try. I did like the size of these, but I didn't really like the blue. Then I thought, let's go for big wings. Let's see how that would look. This actually came in a happy mail and I didn't like that either <laughs> but I thought okay let's try some more big wings so let's try these huge ones and again that didn't work at all also if I put them further down nope didn't like it so then there was this red one remember we saw that in the fairy tale book let's give those a try <laughs> And then I found these green ones, and these are from a printout, and look at that, these are lovely. I think because they don't stand out as much and they kind of almost look like they're part of the dress, I think that's why I like those. So now I chose this page, um, this book page with some Greek writing on it, and I thought she would work really well on there. But um, she has her hand stretched out and I thought maybe we could put something in her hand as well. So this is my little stamp book. It's a book I got from the flea market for postage stamps. And this is where I keep my smaller ephemera. And these, this little bunny and this little crow are from the Your Creative Studio subscription boxes. I will leave their link down below. I thought that would be kind of fun, but I wanted to see if I would have anything else in this little treasure book. And then I I saw these little owls. These are printouts, and I think maybe they're from the Digital Collage Club, but I will check that, and I will definitely have the link for those. Um below in the description box because right now I don't remember for sure and I was contemplating adding one of these owls onto her hand that would also work but I wasn't sure yet I had to try them out of course this little guy was fun this bird because he was he could serve her some wine but I did also kind of like those owls it was such a hard decision so I decided I was going to fussy cut them to see better how they would look. And this guy looks so fun because he has his head tilted on the side. You can't really see it probably now, but you'll see a close-up later. But I still couldn't decide. I did like this guy as well just because his colors were stronger. So I would leave that decision for later. For now, I'm going to take out this page. Because thankfully this is a no-sew book, so it's easy to take pages out. And I'm using my Liquitex Clear Gesso. I will link that down below as well. And this is going to 
give the, it's gonna what is the word I'm looking for it's giving like a base for for what I'm gonna do next because I wanted to use some color and I'm using these beautiful Caran d'Ache neon color to watercolors um, I will try to find a link for these as well below they are so amazing I love these so much so I'm using two kinds of yellows this is like a golden ochre and this one is called I think golden yellow You, you won't really see the difference of these two once I go over it with it my with my water brush but you will see it this uh, the gesso makes the colors really pop and it also um, makes the page more sturdy and it gives it a very grainy uh, feeling so after everything was dry I wanted to glue first the pieces together so that they would be in the right position when I glue the whole thing down. I'm going to add her little wings. I think this might be my favorite prompt of all because it's just so much fun. I just love how she turned out. Now I'm using my 3-in-1 glue to glue her down as a whole. And then I still had to decide which owl am I going to use and I went for the one that had her head tilted to the side. She was just so cute. There you see. <laughs> and then I, I also wanted to add some words. So, oh not yet, sorry, I forgot. I'm first adding a little bit of shading. So this is my, my violet. And I'm going to just add a little bit of shading on the bottom and on her right side and under her outstretched arm as well just to um, just to make her look like she's more integrated into the page rather than just having her look like she's just popped onto the page and floating in mid-air <laughs> and it took me quite a few times because every time I tried to blend it the color almost totally went away <laughs> So I kept having to go over and over, but I do kind of like the very subtle effect it has and you'll see a close-up here in a little bit. There you see it's 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 really very subtle but it does make a difference I'm just gonna do it under her arm as well yeah and now I wanted to choose some words so I'm using this Tim Holtz ideology big chat paper pad that I have and I knew I wanted to use some black stickers to make them really stick out and I decided to use the words create and then magic because how fun is that that on every journal page we can create some magic and I'm just trying to find the right placement for these and I have no idea why I choose that place but I guess it's okay so that's what that looks like and I think it's a really fun page Slipping that right back into my binding and there's our second page. So I had so much fun with both of these pages. Those prompts are awesome mod and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to try some as well and hope you join me again for the next time. I would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and maybe you could subscribe if you haven't done so already if you would like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!